Yeah, we have a couple that are out because of injury is Collins. It is the matter of days and uh, Sako, he, he has a back pain. He didn't train since the game against Burnley. So two of them are out for, for tomorrow's game. Mm. They could, both of them could be back for Spurs game, let's say. So it's not a big thing, but they're out. Uh, Chicharito had uh, only a tight hamstring. And but he will train now. We have a training at four o'clock, and he's going to be okay while he trains with us. And uh, Adrian he had a diarrhea for a couple of days with a little bit of of vomiting, but he he feels much better, and he's back in the training today. So that's it. That's it. So a couple of them will not make it tomorrow for the game. Hernandez, are you confident he'll, he'll make the game? Well, no, it's not a big thing, you know, he trained a couple of days ago, he trained that uh, he felt a little bit of a tight hamstring, we scanned it, which is very important, of course, for, for, for the head and uh, for the proof, and the scan was completely clear, so he only missed yesterday's trainings, which was anyway light session, and he will train today, and uh, we're expecting him based on scan and also his feeling. Uh, that he will, he will be okay. Yeah. Is there going to be a chance for Antonio Martinez? He's showing a good form. Yes, yes, he is. He was with us uh, already two times in the preseason, last season, and uh, this season, and he is improving a lot. But uh, again, we have we have enough for, we we have uh, enough options for for a front uh, among these players that are with us, and so he will probably not be in a team for tomorrow or in a squad, as you want to say. We had a slow start, a bad start, three away games, three, three defeats and all that. And then came that international break. And if we are counting from that international break to, to, the, to the latest one, we improved a lot, not only with the results, but with everything. We have some players back also from, from the injuries. Uh, and then the players who missed big part of the preseason are also in much better physical condition and they get a... And they, Got the match fitness, uh, of course, and uh, and uh, that's all the reasons that we improved. Uh, we improved our results as well, and uh, we are on the right uh, path. So, yeah, it is it is uh, much better. They also made a slow start, okay, and then they improved in their results. Uh, their home form was really good. Away form, if you are looking at the results, not, but but. Uh, I watched their game, of course, home and away, and uh, I see very confident team, the team that plays with the confidence, because they got that confidence last season when they were winning most of the games. That is the reason why, why they were for so long on the top of the table. They only lost it in the last game, I think, to Newcastle. And so they have the confidence, they have the pattern, they also brought some players. Uh, from uh, from Holland or from Germany, uh, good ones, uh, and uh, as, as I said, they they played really good game against Bor against Bournemouth. They lost to one, but they were winning and they were in really comfortable situation. And then they conceded to late goals or like that. And uh, of course, it's going to be a very tough game. But again. Um, I, I respect them and everything, but we are concentrated on us. We are, as you said, one defeat in six. Uh, we wanted, of course, three points against Burnley. It didn't happen, but we played good, especially with ten men. And as I said, uh, we play home. We improved our home form a lot since we moved here to the new stadium. and. Uh, uh, what we want is a good performance and three points tomorrow. I don't think so. No, no none of of these red cards were like mm, typical lack of discipline. If you go, no, no, nobody headbutted anyone or 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 made something really like it. some of them, like in this one now two yellows. They were it's it's basically stupid things. Also, few of those red cards were. We appealed and they were ruled out. So a few of them, I think three or four or, or, or even five of them went completely big mistakes from the referees. 
So I don't remember one of them that I would connect them with, with, with lack of discipline on the pitch and letting the team down in, in a most rigid way, you know. So it's not a case. But on the other hand, yes, you are right. We, we got 12, 12 uh, red cards or double yellows in a space of uh, two and a half seasons, not even that, yeah. Well, I understand that that's been the case since, since Joe Hart came to the club. We had a couple of good goalkeepers, as I said, uh, Adrian and Randolph. We got a good offer for, for Randolph, both of them because of the World Cup and because they want to play, of course. It's not only because of the World Cup. They, they wanted to get a chance to move to the club that they would get like a regular uh, number one spot. But, uh, you know, I can understand it today all the players not only because of the World Cup they want to play they want to be regular that's why they are they are sportsmen on, on the top level uh, but but uh, we also need a good squad we we also need a good uh, the good keepers I can understand it but on the other hand uh, Adrian is a great professional and he's acting and behaving in the way that uh, I wanted and I spoke to him a few times about it and he's very good in training. He's, uh, he's working hard to get his chance. At the moment, he's, he's getting the chance in a cup only. But that is the case. for him. That can change as well, of course. But uh, all of the players, you know, you have the squad of, I don't know, 25 or whatever. They all want to play. Of course, you can't expect the players who are not playing in the long term to be happy and all that. But uh, what you want to maintain because of the sake of the team is the professionalism and, and the at the competition and uh, the boys acting like that. No, I mean, first of all, it wasn't that uh, the, the way it was, it was translated to English papers. It's a bit different, of course, to make a big fuss out of it. Uh, if I was on the bench or whatever, if I was a player and they asked me, are you happy that you're not playing? I don't expect from the players to say, yeah, I'm, I'm raving, I'm, 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 I'm over the moon and I don't play, no, but... If it's in the brackets, you know what I mean? If it's in those borders that you can't cross the line, then, then it's, it's happening everywhere. And it can, only, and it can also be, be, be a positive thing that the guy wants to play. Rod Wizzy was good. I mean, it was a, of course, it was an honor for me personally to meet them. Uh, it happened he, here at our home yesterday. And uh, it's... I've done loads of those things back home when I was international manager and also in Russia and in Turkey. And uh, really, uh, anything that, that is connected with the kids uh, is, is, is the best thing. Just more generally outside of West Ham, we saw um, the parliamentary select committee yesterday on Mark Sampson. I don't think they know, you know. I don't think they are that concentrated on that. No, but uh, okay. The, in those things, they, there shouldn't be a grey zone. You know, it should be really zero tolerance of, on those kind of things. Uh, although when it happens, sometimes 99% is just uh, it's it's not deliberate in a way. It's just the case that the players or whoever or even the fans. They don't. They don't know the the border that they can't cross. I'm glad that in, it improved. We hope that we hope for that to happen earlier. You know, uh, but even last season we have we have like few really good games on a throat, and then we thought, yeah, that's it. And then 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 for example came Man City and trash you here like uh, like five nil, and then you go again the issue about the stadium and all that. But um, I'm concentrating now, you know, now we have that feeling like uh, last season, of course, from day one, we were all amazed with the new stadium and everything. But uh, last season we didn't, we, we needed some time to get used to it, to start calling it at home. Now when I hear the players, and it happens to me also, now, now you go, oh yeah, we can't wait to play home. We really feel it, it's, it's, it's a home. To make something home, you need the good memories. The good memories you need you, you you need a little bit of time to make to make those memories to feel to experience those good positive things and we had a few recently and um, 
yes, we really feel it as a home now. Yes, we are, but we have to win that game. Okay, we we we, we hope to be straight away in top ten, but it didn't happen. Okay, there were various reasons for that. There were three away games, uh, a lot of injuries, some of the new players that came, then 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 red card in the second game of the season and all that. We we have a feeling. It's not just a feeling, you know. When we are analyzing the games now and everything, we improved a lot. We expected that. We knew that we're going to have, as soon as those injuries happened, either last season, and we knew some players were going to miss the preseason and the start of the season, and they're going to lack the match fitness and everything, blah, blah, blah. And we knew with a couple of injuries that happened during the preseason, we knew that it's going to be very hard, although we hope that we're going to get some points even without them, you know. Uh, but now, since the last international break, we like. You see that the players are coming back and all that, and we watch our schedule. And of course, you have some games that you are more likely if you play good and you are fit, and you have your most of your squad there available. That that you have a chance to get to get the points. And uh, we started um, to get them, and and uh, it would be really good and crucial and uh, great thing to to win tomorrow and to 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 move up on the table it is alarming um, i mean alarming you know uh, that that cost us a game it's a big difference when okay red card is a red card but it's a big difference if it happens if in edit time like in or in 88 minute or it's happened like like it happened to Arnautovic against Southampton or or to Carroll against uh, Burnley i mean we done amazing in both of those games, to uh, b- b- because normally in also in the Premier League it's like completely one-sided game after that that happens, and and uh, I spoke to both of them of course and it is unacceptable, and uh, it can't happen and it's not very usual unless it's some professional foul you are last man and you have to do it in the second minute of the game or whatever. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. It's 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 a big blow for 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 the team. Not only for that game, especially for that game, of course, but also for the next game because it kept it happened to to couple of uh, very important players for us, key players, the players that are game changers and all that. I respect him a lot. He's so calm. He's 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 like he's like under radar, you know. But uh, I. Like I'm watching the games, of course. I watch the games of our opponents and all that. And in a free time, you're watching the games after, you know, that are shown on telly and all that. Uh, I'm impressed with uh, with Brighton. Mm, I expected them, you know, at least in the first half of the season, at least unless it hit them, you know, like long term. The most of those clubs who who are promoted they they have that 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 positive arrogance you know because they have a good memory from last season because they were winning i don't know 75% or whatever or 60 or whatever and and uh, they play like that okay there's a difference between their home record and between their away record but as i said before uh, i watch few of the games and uh, they play nice football so, of course, he done a great job there. As high as possible, Moose. As high as possible. We are approaching every game with an aim to to get something out of it. Of course, there are some games that you really... It's not a cup final that you must win, but there are some games that you basically must win. And tomorrow is a game that, 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 uh, that uh, we are really looking forward to. And we... We, we, we have to win that game. We know it's going to be hard. We know games are easy today, of course, but but we are playing home Friday night game. As I said, we have a full full squad, almost full squad there. And uh, okay, a, a blow is that Andy is not there, and also Diafra will not be there. But we have a we have strong squad, and uh, we have to win that game. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be us, Max, huh? I don't think so. You don't think so? So, look, I said it before, you know, uh, we can talk about uh, why they don't do it in 
Bundesliga, why they don't do it in Spain, why they don't do it in Italy, but you know, you are you are part of the Premier League and the Premier League is the most attractive league in all sports in the world. And one of the reasons for that is also those Christmas period games. Is it on 24th? Is it on Boxing Day? Is it on on 1st of January? You know, I played and that was ages ago. That was before the Premier League started to get all those income from TV rights and, and, and all that. I played when I played for West Ham, it was 1996. Played on first of January at noon at Tapton Park against Forest. So you know, uh, and because all that money that we are getting, it gets to the clubs. Then the clubs are richer. You can buy new players, and it all gets that hype of the Premier League bigger and bigger. And uh, so we we can't we can't be hypocrites and moan about that. So I welcome that game. It's my job, I have to do it, you know, and we have to do it. Uh, Troy is very honest man, you know, I think Troy wanted to, he's, he's one of the proper, like, English kind of a guys, you know, come out and play, roll out your sleeves and guys. So I, I, I really think that he wanted to praise Watford. He wanted to say that Watford has that extra spirit and that's why they beat Arsenal, you know. Uh, uh, <coughs> But the players should be concentrated on their their teams, you know, and to praise their teams, not to not to not to do that to the opponents. But knowing Troy, I don't know him amazing well, you know, but I know him enough, and he he is not disrespectful to to anyone. Ah, come on, Morris. Oh, Morris, but that. come on. So Next question. <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? <laughs> when, are, when are you going to get a new contract? I was born under pressure. Hmm? <laughs> when are you going to get a new contract? No. Oh, come on. Uh, really. no, seriously. no, 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 Morris. No, Morris. Come on, come on, guys. As I said, I'm. I'm. Thank you, but I'm concentrating on a game tomorrow, and uh, it goes like that. You know, I said it a million times. You know this job the pressure comes with the job and uh, I wouldn't be under the pressure last season I got under pressure when we had a, 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 a bad run of games at home no matter that the season my first season was really good here we broke I don't know seven records or whatever then okay well done well done well done people were talking about new contract or whatever but then then we moved stadium and uh, okay side injuries whatever but we lost home to Watford 4-2 we lost home to Southampton 3-0 we, in, in between we, we went to West Brom and we, we were 4-0 down after 60 minutes and pop 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 slowly the pressure came and then we got then then the pressure stopped when when we had when when we got I don't know, 10 points from from uh, three, three games or whatever, when the pressure came back, when we lost five in a row. And when the pressure went off, when we beat Spurs and uh, Swansea here. So, mm, you can ease the pressure with a new game, but to talk about long-term-ish mm, stability of the job, you need a you need, uh, you need a good run. We are talking about five, six, seven, eight games, and that. But that is the rule for any, for every manager. We know what happened with with Craig. A couple of days ago, like it looks like the game against Sevilla or whoever was like ages ago. It was like yesterday, basically. So it's the nature of the job. I, I, it's calmer at the moment, you know. But it can change tomorrow night. You know, it's it's uh, we are still there. You know, you have I don't know five five teams on eight points. You know, who gets three points tomorrow? That that one or two or whatever, or or after the weekend, is gonna have like a calm calm week. But then you have those hurricanes who are, who are <laughs> they're not anymore only in states. You know, they're also here. One hit Northern Ireland, you know. So uh, what I'm trying to say, there's no point of think about that. 
there's enough enough elements of your job that you have to be concentrated and even you can't you can't do all of them that's why you need uh, big stuff to do it all not to buy so you have no no reason and no time basically and no need to be to be concentrated on those things that that if you are concentrated on them and if you are focused on them you are you are you are in deep problem you know what i mean so you are doing these things that you can affect and that are related to to the game. Is it tactics? Is it physics? Is it uh, man managing the team? And with that, you can you can you you can influence uh, the pressure. So, so if you lose, you're expecting a hurricane to come. Is, it? is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our code of conduct. The club's got it, and uh, of course, he was fine but nothing more than, than any other player. I spoke to him about that and, and I told you, like, uh, like I said, about all those, how many, 12, yeah? I don't remember one of them. Andy, it was stupid. I was angry, I'm still angry. Uh, it cost us, I think, maybe we would lose the game. You never know in football, but I had a feeling and all that, that that we would be in a good position to get all three points, basically. That would be for us crucial, you know, because the hurricane would be a little bit more away from us. Uh, it was stupid. But, and I'm not trying to defend him, but I explained that to myself. I, I see those kind of... First one, first one, it was just typically home 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 yellow card you know that the whole crowd comes up and say and it was nothing nothing but Andy is who said that Big Sam said that a few years ago that Andy because of his size and everything he never gets the fouls it's hard for him to get a foul the second one was stupid but those second ones I've, I see in trainings I see in training because his problem is that he wants, if the ball goes there, he wants to challenge it, although there's no way. There's no way that he's going to get get to that ball. He goes, he went there and all that. So very, very stupid. But 